LDA comma N stands for load A with N where N is a number, a binary pattern number. So LDAN is the assembly language instruction for loading register A with an 8-bit binary pattern. It has the opcode 3E and the binary pattern for loading into A immediately follows the opcode in memory. For this reason, this instruction is an example of immediate addressing. It is immediate addressing because the data to be manipulated by this instruction comes immediately after the instruction's operation code and we abbreviate operation code to simply opcode. If we consider the computer's memory, we can see that placed in this address AE00, we have this binary pattern 3E. Now that is the opcode. In the next memory location, AE01, we can see that we have the binary pattern 8F. Now these patterns are both the opcode and the operand. For this program to actually start, we have to ensure that this address AE00 is in the program counter. And you can see, in fact, it is here. So so this particular machine code instruction is across two memory locations, the 3E being in the first memory location and the 8F being immediately following the opcode in the next memory location. The first step of execution is the copying of the contents of the program counter to the memory address register. The next step is for the program counter to have its contents incremented by 1, as you can see here. And this means that it is ready to be pointing to the next memory location in the computer's memory. The microprocessor system control unit then arranges for these two pulses to leave for the computer's memory. At the same time, it puts the pattern that was in the memory address register onto the address bus, and this pattern will be used to select the appropriate location in memory. The two control lines, well this control line switches the chip on, and this control line informs the memory chip that it's going to have its contents read. The contents of the control lines in the address bus continue to the memory where they select the location AE00 and you can see that it transferred the binary pattern in this address via the data bus to the buffer register from the buffer register to the instruction register. Now the buffer register is abbreviated BR on the diagram and the instruction register is abbreviated IR. Now this is the fetch cycle. The decoder will then decode the content of the instruction register. In other words, it will find out what 3E means. It will pass this information onto the control unit. Now the control unit will now cause a sequence of events to occur. And they will occur as follows. The contents of the program counter, which is AE01, will be transferred to the memory address register. At which point the program counter will add one to itself to make it one bigger to be prepared to point to the next location in memory. The content of the memory address register will then be transferred to the address bus at the same time as the control lines will both be put to a low voltage level i.e. a low pulse. This will result in memory location AE01 being selected and the contents of that being 8F will be transferred via the data bus to the buffer register from where it will be transferred to register A because that's what the instruction is doing transferring a binary pattern in memory to register A. Now that animation will occur now. So there we can see the program counter being incremented, there's the address in the pulses this is the 8F coming into the buffer register, and there it goes to A. Now that is the execute phase of the fetch decode execute cycle. So we can see the data immediately following the opcode is loaded into A. Now here we can see load A with 8F, which is the instruction we've just been discussing, and we can see that the opcode part of it is 3E, and the operand part of it is 8F. Now if we compare the fetch decode execute cycle for the instruction we've discussed here with the previous video in the playlist, which was on incrementing A, you should note that the fetch part of the respective fetch decode execute cycles is the same. It's about going to the memory, getting the opcode, and bringing it to the instruction register. The difference is the execute phase. The execute phase is what distinguishes one instruction from another. Run end to end, this is what the fetch decode execute cycle looks like.